Okay, I want to make you aware of another Chrome extension um, that may be valuable to you as we continue our journey. So I'm going to look up Grid View. Okay, Grid View is a Google Meet extension. Okay, so when you look up Grid View, the option that comes available in here, we've downloaded some of these before. Mine says remove from Chrome. Uh, because I have already added it to Chrome, okay? So you can add it, click everything okay there, and then you're gonna get the grid view extension, okay? The grid view extension will go into your extensions up here. Mine is already there. You do not need to pin this one to your bar because you're only gonna use it when you're inside Google Meet. Now, here's the purpose of it. When we're in Google Meet, we can't necessarily always see all of the participants in the Meet, okay? Gridview will allow you to do that. So depending upon how many people you have in here, it works a little bit like the Zoom call when it will populate your screen and as more people go on, it will make the windows smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, so if you're just having a conversation and you're not sharing your screen and you just want to see if everybody's there for whatever reason, you can do it here. Let me show you what it looks like. So I'm going to jump on and do a Google Meets here. So now that I'm in the meeting, what's going to occur is I'm now going to have the grid view extension up here. Okay. So this is the grid view extension. When you put your cursor over it, you get a lot of options available to you. Okay. And then you can click on the options that you would like to apply to the grid view. Okay. If you enable it by default, this will overwrite the program's thought process on which view is the best. You can also include yourself in the grid so you could see yourself there as well, because that was a concern that some people have brought up to me, okay? Um, you could only show the participants with video, so that way you could see them. Those are the things there. But now the grid view is currently on because it does not have a slash through it. If I click on the slash, that means that the grid view is off. And then all of your previous Google Meet settings would apply in this situation. Okay. I don't have enough devices and accounts to show you exactly what it looks like. But again, if you go back to the Chrome extension, this is the sample of what it would look like when you have multiple people at your meeting. Okay. If you use the Duala's split screen as well, it can try and populate, but it gets smaller and smaller depending upon the size of the screen, okay? But again, this is another Chrome extension that is available to you that might enhance your experience on Google Meet.